All right, so it was uh, almost exactly two and a half years ago we first introduced prion effects, and it was something I worked on, um, obviously needed Frederick's help, um, but the idea was, you know, have a visual effect to go along with either a sputtering ignition or a power-up ignition, um, and those have been around for a while. But now, OS7, um, a combination of new things are coming, and this is just one piece. There's actually a ton more that's just about done that I'll be putting a ton of videos together for. Um, but I've been working with Frederick on a lot of stuff. I know we've been teasing stuff. Everything's finally starting to come together. We've finally got all the pieces put together, and now we're just testing the last bits out. Um, but this is one of the new features. Um, so we've always had prion effects pretty much since OS4, like I said, two and a half years. Um, and they're getting longer and longer. And the idea, you know, this one that I'm going to show you is meant to be like as if your saber isn't quite built right and has a little bit of trouble getting started. Um, so this one here, it's going to run four kind of sparks and then it's going to ignite. We've kind of seen it before. Um, but here's the thing. This one now is a new effect, and it's an interactive effect for prions where you can interrupt the prion effect. So um, currently, you know, presently they're usually timed either to the wave file or some fixed time, and they can be really long, they can be really short. This one here, it runs for, for a number of loops until you do something. Now if you don't do something in this case by the fourth loop it's going to ignite anyway. So it runs like a normal prion but I can interrupt it by smacking my saber hard enough. Or this one actually deals with a, a, smack, a clash against your saber to just kick start it or you can actually twist really hard in one direction. Um, and that's actually a brand new feature which we'll talk about more with some of the other new stuff. Um, so this one I'm going to let it run its first time through uh, just like it would if I didn't do anything. So it's trying to get started. Almost there. That took a long time, but now it's ignited and it worked perfectly fine. All right, so this time, now you know what? Go to work. All I had to do was smack it and it ignites. So interactive prions, and this is just a simple example. Um, interactive prions are going to be very different from regular prions, and you can actually, that's part of what OS 7 is going to bring. Um, there's actually a ton more, and I'll do separate videos for them, because each one of these really I talked about. One of the pieces that I've been working on with Frederick is, instead of just being fixed just by a prop, so how your controls work, um, my prop in, in OS 7, plus with all the new style capabilities, is actually going to have some smart controls, and it may change the name. But the uh, controls for your saber can actually now change based on the style itself. So this style has an interactive prion effect, um, which is a new effect for OS 7. And because it has an interactive prion effect, it actually lets me use normal controls to activate it. But if you interact with it during the prion period, it actually overwrites, or, or basically does its own thing without needing the prop. Um, so what that allows for is for us to interrupt a prion effect. So normally a prion has to run. It runs for the length of time that it's set for, which is either the length of time of the sound file or for the length of time of the animation, and then it will ignite. In order to get around that, we had to come up with a new way to do prions. So this is a new way to do them that allows for this interaction, but you can still use the old way. Um, and this one is built to mimic the old way. So if I just don't touch the saber, if I leave it be, it's going to run through its normal progression. Now this happens to have four loops built into it, so it's actually four separate animations that are occurring. But you can interrupt them at any time, like I said, by smacking the saber hard enough or by twisting it. So I can also do it with a twist. So if I twist really hard in one direction, now this is different than a twist ignition. The twist ignition is a quick back and forth. This is a quick, fast movement in one direction. It's a new interactive gesture, um, which actually comes into play into a bunch of other stuff, which will be other videos. Um, but so, uh, interactive prions now, we're going to be able to set up prion effects to do anything you want. And you're going to be able to interact with them and have them cut off, essentially, or interrupted by doing something else. And it's not just going to be, you're not stuck with just hitting the saber or just twisting. It's actually going to be any of the responsive controls that you want, we can actually put into the style. And it will allow that style to run um, however you want control-wise, even with the prop file running. Um, and that, that's going to come into play with a lot of other things that I'm going to be putting stuff together for. So we're doing final testing on a bunch of other pieces. There's actually a really huge piece that is, I mean, to me, everything we're coming out in OS 7 is game changing. But this is a small piece. The other piece, which will be 
pretty soon, uh, keep an eye out, um, is actually huge. And it's going to be a massive change for property, a massive change for font makers, a massive change for just how you interact with your Sabre. Um, but enough teases about that. This one's pretty cool. Um, so now we are going to have that ability where you can interact with your Prion. So you can have that really long, crazy animation like your Sabre's not working. And then we can actually interrupt it by, you know, smacking the Sabre, twisting the Sabre, swinging the Sabre, pointing in a certain direction. Um, the other use of this, technically, is we can actually also build these prions, the interactive part, so that your Sabre won't ignite unless you do something special. Um, and that's something I didn't build the demo for yet, but we could technically, because of how these work and because of the fact it actually overwrites the prop file for ignition, if you set up an interactive prion to almost be a locking mechanism, you can have it so your Sabre won't actually ignite until you do something else. So you would push the button, and it actually would either play a, pre play a sound, um, do an animation, or sit there waiting for something else. So if you wanted to like make it so that nobody could ever pick up your Sabre and just use it by pushing the button, we would actually have the ability to do that just by including it in the style code. And that's the other thing. These are run by the style, which means you can have other presets with other styles do completely different things, have completely unique controls to them and different ways of running. So we're no longer going to be stuck with, okay, this control does this, and this control does that, and this control does that for every preset. Part of the big piece of, uh, one of the big pieces of OS 7 is now the ability for styles to actually interact with the prop um, so that they can do things on their own. So you can have one style work one way in terms of controls and have other styles work completely different ways and just get more interaction, more unique capabilities, um, and a bunch of other really cool stuff coming. So, uh, interactive prions, this is the first demo of it, but there's actually a ton of other uses for it. But uh, this is just one little piece, and there's a lot more on the way. So, hope you enjoy. OS 7 is going to be awesome.